Hello, second grade. Welcome to music. It's Ms. Beckman here. Let's get started with a um, greeting, okay? Let's do a fist bump or a high five. How about a handshake or a hug? Well, it's good to see you. And let's go ahead and sit up tall and warm up our views. Woo! Do it again. Woo! Use your hand. And try this. Okay, let's try um, this one. Put your hand signs up. We're gonna do some hand signs. So, so, me, me, me. Me, re, do. Do, la, do. Let's try it a little bit more. Do, mi, so. So, so, la, la, so. Excellent job. Okay, so that was a really good job, especially with that low la, which is our new note that we've been learning. Okay, let's try, um, let's just stand up. Let's uh, have a dance. Okay, everybody stand up, practice some fun dance moves, maybe the musician or the SpongeBob or the robot, or you can do, um, you can um, do your flossing. Um, I'm going to show you a fun instrument called the thumb piano. Say thumb piano. Cool. Well, this is from Africa. I'm going to show you how it works. I, I put my thumbs here and I play it. So now I'm going to play the crazy thumb piano and I want you to just wiggle and dance and just have a fun time. You can play, uh, you can dance any way you want. Okay, you ready? Go. Make sure you're dancing all crazy. Now freeze. When the music stops, make sure you freeze. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Uh, a couple more times. Okay, that was fun. All right, good job. Now I want you guys to uh, get your hands up ready for five and two. Get your hands ready for rhythm. Okay, let's try um, our song from last time. Echoey tie Your turn. My turn. Echoey tie tie. My turn. Apple, tie, tie, apple, turkey, turkey. Good. No worries. Apple, turkey, turkey. Your turn. Let's try the whole song. Get your hands up now. We clap. Apple, tie, tie. Apple, tie, tie. I hope you had fun with that game last time. Uh, let's just play the game, me and you, one time real quick with our hands down and then forward. I'm going to move the computer so you can see my hands a little bit better. Okay, so we do Epo, we tie, tie, ready, and sing. Apple, tie, tie, apple, tie, tie, apple, tie, tie, apple, turkey, turkey, apple, turkey, turkey. Okay, good. Now, who remembers this song? Oh, I think I can play it on my instrument. I've been practicing. Let's see if it works. Okay, 
messed up three times. I'm going to do it again and see if I can do it better this time. Try to get the mystery song. Did you get the song yet? If you know it, try it with your inner voice. Like this. Ready and think. That was Come Through the Hurry, Come Through the for Alabama Gal. Let's go ahead and sing it. Um, you know what? Let's get up and pretend like we're playing the game. Dance it and sing it and pretend. Okay, let's try uh, this angle. See if that's okay. Uh, remember, in the game, we have our partner across from us, and we are uh, going to be clapping, and then we're going to be galloping sideways with our partner. So let's just pretend and uh, have fun with it. Make sure to sing. Ready, clap first. Come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry, Alabama gal. And then elbow with your partner and pretend. I don't know how, how, I don't know how, how. Switch, I don't know how, how, Alabama gal. And then remember we did the big candy cane like an apple tree. I'll show you how, how, I'll show you how, how. I'll show you how, how, Alabama gal. Now make the apple tree with your partner. Ain't I rock candy? Ain't I rock candy? Ain't I rock candy? Alabama gal. Oh, that is such a fun song. And if you have brothers and sisters at home, especially if they're in second, third, or fourth grade, they all know that song. So maybe they can play with you. Let's try it with our rhythm. Ready, go. Come through the hurry. Come through the hurry. Come through the hurry. Alabama gal. Excellent job. Oh, and there's one more song we need to do. It's been a while, so I hope you remember. Pretend you're in a boat, a long canoe made out of wood. You've got your paddle, and we're following a certain animal that's flying in the sky. Do you remember what it is? The geese. We're going to follow the geese. Here's the song. Get your paddle ready. Now go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Excellent job. Let's do it one more time and be very mysterious. Imagine you're um, paddling your canoe down a river, following the geese. Okay, they're up in the sky, flying in a big V. Ready, sing. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose light, dip, dip, and swing. Now I want you to do that with your father, too. There's a pattern here, trust me, we're going to find it. Ready, go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose light, dip, dip, and swing. Okay, so we did three songs just now. We did at Bowie Tie Tie. So now I'm going to just draw what I feel like the pattern is. Watch how I draw it, okay? At Bowie Tie Tie. At Bowie Tie Tie. Okay, so now I want you to try a different song. Let's try it. The second song we did was Alabama Gal. We did Come Through the Hurry. Okay, and then we also did My Paddle's Keen and Bright, but I want to do the end part of Dip, Dip, and Swing. So now we have our three songs here. The first one was, um, what was it? Uh, F O E T I T I. F O E T I T I. The next one was, come through the hurry. And then we have, dip, dip, and swing. It's kind of the same pattern, especially when you look at the first. And back in kindergarten, we did this pattern like this. We did, we did uh, this, and we also did, remember what 
we call those two things in kindergarten? This one was short and this one was long. So if we just look at this first little pattern here and erase everything else, I'm wondering how can we say that using our kindergarten words and now translating it to a grown up second grade pattern? We can go short, long, short. Say that, ready, point up here to the pattern, go. Short, long, short. Very good. So we're going to be working on that pattern. And we're going to be figuring out the mystery rhythm of short, long, short, long, long. That was coming in a hurry. It was short, long, short, long, long. That's echoey, tie, tie. And then the last one is dip, dip, and swing. Short, long, short, long. Make sure that you are thinking about that as we keep going. Good job. Okay, now we need to um, take a break real quick. I want you to stand up. Stay on your spot. Just kidding, you don't have to stay on your spot. You can stay anywhere since you're at your house. Okay, let's try this one. Good, copy me. Good. Good. Let's try this one. Ready, go. Okay, let's try this one with my feet. You can't see my feet. Stomp, 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 clap, clap. Ready, go. Now let's try a big rainbow at the top. Okay, good. So now we're going to put it together. We're going to go stomp, 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 clap, clap, rainbow up. Again, go. So that's going to be a song. Oh, did you already guess it? Maybe you did. Echo, we tie, tie. Your turn and ready, go. Echo, we tie, tie. Excellent job. Wow, you did it. Okay, let's go ahead and now transition to uh, Music Street, okay? How many spots are on Music Street? Listen and count with your fingers when I play it on my instrument. Show me with your fingers. Let's do it one more time. Okay, show me with your fingers. Show me with your fingers. Okay, you should be showing the number eight. Now let's count them. Sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which box is solo? Don't show me with your fingers. Good, number five, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. What kind of roof does she have? A fancy roof. What about Mr. Me? What number does he live on? Does he live next door? No, because they don't like each other. He lives on number three. Let's count to three. One, two, three. What kind of roof does Mr. Me have? A messy, messy, messy roof. Okay. What about love? What number does love live on? Number six, let's count and sing. One, two, three, four, five, six. What kind of roof does love have? Oh, a poofy roof. And we have our cursive L. Good. And what about Billy Doe? What spot number does Billy Doe live on? Number one, let's count. One. Okay, that was easy. What kind of roof does Billy Doe have? With a chimney. That's right. Okay, and there's Billy Doe. Sorry, the marker's being funny. Okay, and what about Ray? What number does Ray live on? One, two. What kind of roof does Ray have? Solar panels, because he's a scientist. That's right. Uh, and then remember we have our new note that goes underground. Does it go underground one spot or two spots? You're right, two spots. So Lola has what kind of root? A rock, that's right. And it's just like regular law, but we have to put a comma. Just like that. Good. Okay, so that was Music Street. And we've already discovered lots of patterns about lines and spaces. 
Remember your hand staff? Let's review that real quick. Uh, hold up your hand staff. Let's do the lines from the bottom. Ready, go. Line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. Spaces go. Space one, space two, space three, space four. Now, today, um, Doe is going to be on line two. That means that Lola is going to be on line one. Ray is going to be on space two because it's in the middle. That means Mr. Me is going to be on line three. Mystery note there is going to be the space. So is going to be the next line. And law is going to be the next space. So there's our big, big staff right here. And let's practice which are the notes. So we have Lola on line one, Do on line two, Me is on line three, So is on line four. Okay, and La is going to be space. So the other space in space note is going to be ray, which is space two between my two fingers. Okay, let's review that. Um, oh, wait, this next one should be better. Okay, that's going to stay right there. And now let's practice with our hand staff. And then we're going to read some music, okay, because this is your homework for today. Get your hand staff up. Practice starting with line one, uh, actually line two. Sing do, 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 do. Good. Ray, oh, so do, ray, so I try ray, ray, space two. Me, me, line three. So, so, line four. La, ha, la, space four. And we forgot one note. Do, la, do, try it. Okay, so that's going to be. La, Lola is line one. Good. So now keep that in mind. And now we're going to take a look at the music for one of our special songs. And this is a song that you already remember because we already sang it today. Okay, here is our song that we're going to sing, and this is your assignment today. It's not too many measures. Let's go ahead and find out how many measures. Measure one. Measure two, measure three, and measure four. So only four measures, not too much. Um, can everyone say um, bar line? Can you say measure? Now I do understand that this song is missing the two four meter, but that's okay because it's actually the end of the song. The beginning is missing. All we have is Come through no hurry, Alabama gal. And then at the end, we have our, what? Remember what that one's called at the very, very end? The double bar. That means it's the end of the song. Okay, so let's look at the staff. Everybody point to where I'm pointing with my arrow. That's line one, keep going, line two, line three, line four, and line five. Now do the spaces, ready, go. Space one, space two, space three, space four. So the first note, look at that circle. Where is it on the staff? Is it on a line or a space? Can you show me which one it's on with your hand staff? Look at that first black circle. You should be pointing to line two. And we said that line two is which music street note? Do you remember? Which music street note was line two? Line two was do. So let's go ahead and note that that is do. I'm going to uh, make a note with us right here so we can remember. So the first one is do. What's the next note? Is it on the same or different? So look at that. Is do and then what do you think the next note is? Is it on the same line or does it move up or down? It's actually the same. So we have do, do. And then look at the next one, the next black circle. Does it go higher or lower? It goes lower. Now what's lower than do? Remember do is spot number one. How could something be lower? Well, if we dig under the ground, it's gonna be lower. And that one is low la with a comma. Now, I don't like the way that looks because we're supposed to have a cursive L. So let me quickly 
hurry, Miss Beckman, hurry, faster, faster. Find a curse L for us because, well, that doesn't work. Oh, let me find it. It'll take about five seconds. Maybe this one? Nope. Well, that's frustrating. I'll try one more, and if not, we will move forward. Let's try this one. Yes, perfect. Thank you, French script. Okay, so that's our cursive L for Lola. Um, so, so far we have do, do, la. And now let's look at the next note. The next note, is it on a line or a space? Oh, it looks kind of the same as this one. So what note is it going to? Oh, it's going to do, because do is on line number two. Change it back to the regular. Okay, excuse me. Technical difficulties, here we go. There we go, we fixed it. Good job, Ms. Beckman. Okay, so we have so far, let's sing it together. First, so, so far we have do, do, la, do. Try it. Good job. And now we have the next note. It, is it going higher or lower? Hmm, it's going higher. And is it on a line or a space? It's on a line. So now for that line, we need to um, figure out what's the line that's higher than Do. So if Do is right here, what is this note? Do, Re. What's this one? Me. Good. Okay, the next one's going to be Me. How about the next note? Let's look at it straight from the Me. Okay, so me, we're following line three, we're following line three. Is it the same or different? Oh, it's the same. So that one's gonna also be me. Me, what's next? Ella, does that go higher or lower? Definitely goes higher. And is it going up to a space or up to a line? Okay, it's going to a line. I'm looking back at my board here. It's going a line higher than me. So here's do, me, what's the line higher? Oh, I see a fancy roof. What's that note? Oh, that must be so. Very good job. So, and then uh, what's the next note? Let's check out the circles. We have me, so, what's this one? It goes back to line three, so it must be me. Now we have a different note. It's on space number two. Me, something. What is that step down? A step down from me. Oh, sorry. Me, here's Ray. Oh, you're right, it's Ray. Good. Me, Ray. And the last note, what do you think? What do I always tell you that the songs end on? The songs really, really like to end on what? Do. Okay, do is always the home note. So now we have our whole pattern. We have do, do, la, do, mi, mi, so, mi, re, do. Okay, so I want you to practice that right now uh, with your inner voice. Think through it. Okay, now let's sing it together. Do, ready, set, go. Do, do, la, do, mi, mi, so, mi, re, do. Now let's go ahead and add the hand signs, okay? So practice. That's do, 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 right? What's next? Lo, la. Next, do, then mi. Mi, so, mi, re, Do. So I'm going to go ahead and sing it one time and you look and try to uh, copy with your hands, okay? Ready, go. Do, do, la, do, mi, mi, so, mi, re, do. Now you try that. Ready, start with your do. Do, do, la, do, mi, mi, so, mi, re, do. Okay, so for your homework, this is it. I need to see that you're singing and you also need to move your hands like we practiced. And then I also need you to, um, so, okay, 
singing, hand signs, and your um, eyes can be reading the music, okay? And your parents can take a video of you on your phone, and then they can send the video to their own email on the computer. Check the email on the computer, take the video file, save it to the computer. And then you can attach the file to the link when you're pressing turn in for this assignment. And then I can watch you see the, uh, do the video so I can give you your grade, okay? And I'm gonna post a, a YouTube video of how to put the video um, file onto your assignment so you can turn it in, okay? And if it's just not working, then there's a part on the quiz to say, I tried, but it didn't work, but I still did my assignment, okay? So just try your best and then it should be fine. All right, let's practice it one more time. Ready, go, do, do, la, do, mi, mi, so, mi, re, do. Excellent job. And let's just sing the song while Miss Becky gets set for the last one. Here we go. Come through the hurry, come through the hurry, come through the holy Alabama town. Okay, and we have one more song to learn today, and it's a funny one. Um, so I don't know about you, but when you're at home, sometimes you want to pick somebody to do something. Oh, I forgot to make the screen big. All right, so um, you have to pick somebody, like maybe um, there's only one cookie left, so who gets the cookie? Or maybe you're thinking, oh, we need to, um, we need to, someone needs to go throw that piece of trash away. Who's gonna do it? Well, here's a funny way to do it. You can point to the people at the table in order and sing this, this little chant using your talking voice. En un plato de ensalada, todos comen al revés. Chumere, chumere, sota caballo y re. And on the last one, you're pointing to the re. What is re in español? The king, right? Okay, so let's learn it. My turn and your turn. My turn first. En un plato de ensalada. Todos comen al revés. Chumbere, chumbere. My turn. Sota caballo iré. Let's do two pieces. My turn. En un plato de ensalada, todos comen al revés. Good, my turn. Chumbere, chumbere. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong word. It's churumbe, churumbe, soto caballo iré. So it's churumbe, that was Ms. Beckman's fault. Let's try the whole song now. I'll go first and you try it with your, here we go. Ready and think. En un plato de ensalada, todos comen al revés. Churumbe, churumbe. Soto caballo iré. Oh, that was fun. Now let's play a, a pretend game with pretend people on the computer. And then this is our last thing for music, okay? Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Let's pretend like some people are sitting around eating some pizza, okay? So let's start with the blue guy wearing the blue shirt, okay? Let's go ahead and do our song. Steady beat when you're pointing to people. Don't just point randomly. You got to stay on the beat. Okay, so let's try it. Ready, start here. Point with your finger. En un plato de ensalada, todos comen al revés. Churumbe, churumbe, soto caballo iré. Who got chosen? The person with the red shirt. Okay, very good. Let's do it one more time. And who should we start with? Do, 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 do. Let's do purple because it's Ms. Beckman's favorite color. Okay. Ready, do the song. And let's go the backwards way just for fun. Ready, go. 
En un plato de ensalada todos comen al revés. Churumbe, churumbe, soto caballo iré. Oh, the, the person wearing the orange shirt is chosen. Okay, so I hope you have fun with that game at home. And don't forget to put in your assignment and have a fun time this week with music. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye!